Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about Angular forms. Today we will learn how to reset forms for our template driven forms. Most cases you will have to provide an ability for the user so that he can undo the form that he has filled. Right? If there is a big form and let's say for some reason you want him to change the values right so we should give that ability to user so that he can obviously click on that reset button and the form is reset right we'll learn how to do that in today's episode this is part 57 of the angular 10 complete tutorial playlist please do check out the entire playlist that link is in the description box below make sure that you go through all the previous episodes so that you can learn and master angular 10 with me if you have any doubts in any of the topics that I've covered, please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section and I will be happy to help you. Today we are learning about how to reset Angular forms. Let's do that. So a quick note uh, for our viewers who are joining us new. What are template driven forms? Template driven forms are easy, straightforward and simple, I would say, forms to incorporate in your Angular applications. The form is static. The form is created in the template, right? That means all the form elements will be static and they are defined in the template itself, in the template file. The validations that we add are the HTML5 default attributes like required, min length, max length, etc. Since most of the code is written in the template file, there is little code that goes in the component class. And that's why unit testing always uh, becomes a kind of a challenge with template driven forms. That being said, if you are considering using template driven forms, I'm going to show you how to reset them. All right, so make sure that you go through the last two episodes because that's where I've shown you how to create a form end to end, how to add validations, how to add different types of inputs, etc. So make sure that you check them out so that you can learn and master template driven forms. All right, so today we are learning about how to reset the form. So to reset uh, ng form has a method, uh, it's called reset, dot reset and dot reset form. There are two methods like that, which we can use to reset our template driven forms, right? So let's see that in action, how to do that. And we will learn uh, step by step how to enable it from UI to the method. Let's get started. So first I'm going to add a button to my UI code, right? And we'll add a button and we'll add a class and make it look like a link, right? So I'm going to use the basic styling of bootstrap and I'm going to say whenever there is a click method, right? So I'm binding an event which is called click. And I'm going to say whenever this button is clicked, I'm going to pass the same name as that of the form and we are going to reset the entire form okay that's what we will be doing now we are going to give this a name and say reset form this should give us error because it doesn't know what this method is so you see here the error because so copy this method go to the ts file component class let's implement the method and i'm going to say i'm going to send a form which is of type ng form okay and then I'm going to say whenever this is clicked, we should say reset the form. Okay, simple, nothing great, just a simple form. We are passing the form and we are saying just reset it. Let's see that in UI. So you see here we added a link, which is a button basically looking like a link. So you fill in some details, right? And select some value, fill the form right and then click reset form so it gets reset right so you enter any details and click reset it will be reset that's one way the other is uh, method is that you can also use is form value dot reset form okay now you can reset the form using both either one works well and there what is the difference there is no difference right here explicitly you're telling that you're resetting it, right? So reset can be used for a field that I'll show you later. First, I'm going to show you reset form, which is just again, fill the form and just hit reset. It will be 
the form will be reset okay that's all you should know for today okay which is resetting form once we come to reactive forms i'm going to show you much more details before we start reactive forms there is one more thing that you should know which is setting the form values right like how we can do reset similarly we can do set the form values as well that's what i'm going to show you in the next episode and then we will start the reactive forms stay tuned for that i hope you're liking the tutorials if you do please hit that like button if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you again for joining see you in the next episode